So I'm now at risk of getting $40,000 fines per video, of not having comments anymore on my videos, of not being able to have my videos on a playlist or a watch later list. Otherwise, I might have to, uh, if I want to keep those things, if I want to keep YouTubing the way I am, I might just have to get rid of the kids. Sorry, son. Alright guys, Papa Pepper back once again with an interesting video, trying to go through some interesting stuff. I'm in the truck because there is a storm out there, but there's also kind of a storm rolling into YouTube. To be honest with you, I only started YouTube so I'd be able to host videos somewhere to share on Steamit.com. That was my only purpose in joining YouTube. I found it to be a free place I could upload videos and then take the link from that, put it in my uh, Steamit post and people would be able to watch the video there. On my, uh, right in my Steemit post. That's why I got involved. In that time, I've gained a lot of followers, uh, subscribers, I guess you'd call them. I met a lot of people and uh, had a lot of fun and also began actually earning some money. But now we have COPPA coming, the Child Online uh, Privacy Protection Act. And there's already been some stuff going down with it. And there's some stuff coming. And now we're wondering, can we still have children? And do YouTube? Or do we just kind of have to get rid of the children? Do YouTube as adults? Or can we just kind of continue what we've been doing? And the issue comes into play with some recent stuff that YouTube put out. And they put out some stuff talking about how uh, it was ridiculous. It almost would have been more help if they didn't do anything. But they said that videos that are targeted at children, people under 13 years of age, um, fall into this under this COPPA thing, and if you have subject matter that appeals to kids. So if we try to use something like that to determine what's children's material, then pretty much everything becomes children material because they will watch anything and it all interests them. Another interesting thing that they brought up is if you have child actors or models. Now this is my son, he's really my son. He's going to continue to be my son. He's not acting. However, I was planning in a video to talk about my youth and have this guy, scoot down a little bit, play me as a youth. You can see the family resemblance. You can see why that would make sense. So at that point, obviously, he would be an actor of some sorts. Although some people like Justin Rhodes, for instance, and maybe the FCC, maybe YouTube, maybe others, they call any video a movie. And therefore, if somebody's in a movie, they are an actor. So it can get really gray and really interesting. So as a little bit of backstory to this, it already happened that YouTube had to pay both um, the FCC and New York a combination of $170 million for allegedly violating the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act. Moreover, in the video that YouTube released, it talked about how creators themselves could potentially get fined over $42,000 per video. Now, the cool thing about that is, personally, I make right now about $200 a month off of YouTube. So I would only need to work and making videos if everything stayed the same for about another 200 months or just over 16 years if I got one of those fines. So yeah, that wouldn't really work out too well. So it gets really interesting, really crazy. A lot of people are wondering, can they even have a family channel? Now I watched a video from Ian Corzine where he's an online you know, social media lawyer. He's done some great videos, I'll link one in the description, where he first of all went through a lot of it because he's read it many times and uh, was just kind of explaining some things, but then also supposedly talked to somebody from YouTube, like a secret kind of, um, I don't want to say snitch, but a secret person leaking some information. And YouTube has now said, you know, are all of your videos, should they be marked for children or should they all be marked not for children? And you get to pick that at the channel level or you can go through individually through your videos. I've got over a thousand videos on my thing for sure, which is a lot more than some channels who are doing much better than me. That's fine, but it's still going to be a lot to go through. On, in retrospect and looking at it, I've never made a single video for children, if you think about it. 
because even stuff like where I had my little peppers, my children, I'm Papa Pepper, my wife's Mama Pepper, we call the children little peppers, even when I had them how to ride a goat and all it was was kids in the video riding goats and giggling, <laughs> people would say, oh, that's obviously aimed towards children. But the cool thing is, is I only had that to share on Steam It, which requires people to be over 13 years of age to uh, have an account there anyway. And I was only op offering it, you know, hosting on YouTube to share on Steam It to adults. That was the whole purpose. And in fact, a lot of the stuff I make now, I purposely have a child or some of my children in just because I know that it appeals to some of the older people in my audience, people who are older than me, and they appreciate seeing the children and seeing our sweet little bell pepper and how she's doing and stuff like that. So it's never been aimed at kids, but the one thing that Ian Corzine mentions is that there's technically a general audience that's kind of exempt from all this stuff to begin with that we should have the option to mark. So rather than marking, I'm only targeting this for under 13 children, or I'm only targeting this for people who are over 13, we should be able to just mark general audience. But then another helpful one that I saw was Dole Whip Dad. And Dole Whip Dad was doing one about how he talked to people at the FCC, uh, at the FCC about COPPA and that we're not gonna like what he heard. And what he pretty much heard, and this makes a lot of sense, is that the things that COPPA are designed to do, are to protect people from, are not things that we can do. Okay, I cannot gather information on who views my videos. I can't figure out their name, age, location, other likes, all that stuff. Now, YouTube, Google, can. And what they would do is they would gather this information and they'd use cookies and they'd do these things to have targeted um, ads at people. So they would kind of customize advertising, which is the way that you earn more money because more people click on those ads, the stuff that's actually targeted at them. Um, and that's what they were doing. That's why they got fined. They were having cookies and collecting information on people who were children. So if we actually had a children's channel and you have videos that are made for children, you lose the targeted ads. You lose the personalized ads because they're not going to be allowed to uh, gather that information. But moreover, you lose comments. People won't be able to comment. People won't be able to save your videos to a watch list. People won't be able to um, put them in a playlist. People won't be able to share them. They, these things just aren't going to happen. They won't have notifications if the whole channel is you know, aimed towards kids. So there's probably a disaster coming. We're probably not gonna have to worry about it. I will probably never get a 40 some thousand dollar fine. Um, and I, it, the way that Dole Whip Dad explained it is it makes a lot of sense that we would just be absolutely exempt from any of that because we're incapable of doing the things that would put these children at risk, which is what it's designed to do. Um, I'm not gathering information on anyone. So at the moment, we plan on continuing as usual. I make videos, they're, they're wholesome, they are aimed at adults, and even we've, we're gonna do a, a children's book here that we're gonna be releasing. It's, it's aimed for children, or I mean, sorry, it's, it's a children's book, but it, who's gonna be buying it? You know, there's no kid under 13 who's gonna be picking up our book as, that I'm aware of. It's going to be adults, parents and grandkids picking up the book to read with their children or to have their children read in the privacy of their own home offline, if that makes any sense to anyone. So we'll see. We plan on continuing as normal. Maybe we'll be a little more, whatever, um, cautious. Um, as always, there seems to be a lot of misinformation. And even if you saw recently, YouTube for Super Chats now has like these super sticker packs you can buy. And there are little funny emojis of like dogs and different stuff. And at the same time, they're telling people, be careful if you're making stuff for kids. They're like, hey, here's a bunch of really stuff that only really appeals to kids for the most part or very large kids, you know. People can be very immature into their 20s and 30s and stuff like that. I'm not saying that. I know some of them. Um, but just very, very goofy. So as always, communication with YouTube seems to be bad. At the moment, we're going to continue as we are. I'm going to back up all my videos because uh, the channel could just get nuked like that. I don't have them all backed up. I should. And I'll probably go through and comb my uh, video history too. And there's a lot of just random stuff on there that doesn't really need to be on there from years ago. And we'll probably just delete that. Maybe I'll back it up for my personal things, but short snippets of different stuff I shared on Steemit and things like that. So that's where we're at. 
that's our plans at the moment. I'm not going to disown my kids or put them up for adoption just so I can continue to be a YouTube creator. I would gladly give up YouTube um, <laughs> way before I ever even considered giving up my, my, my family by any means, but also it is at the moment one of those tools that we can use to help provide some of our financial obligations as a family that then help us to need less money from me leaving the family to earn. So that's where we're at. And that's our thoughts on the current matter to the best of my understanding. Check out those videos from Dole Up Dad and Ian Corzine if you want more information. I will see you next time. Papa out.